I'm Claude and welcome to my studio. I'm from Poland, so I'm not native, don't be too hard on me. Um, I'm also not a furry, but my partner is, so uh, I decided to join the con just for fun and to teach you some stuff I can do as a nail stylist, but it won't be really about nails, because when I was very bored during lockdown, I discovered that using acrylic method, which is like worldwide, worldwide popular, um, you can also um, make your illustration real. <laughs> like, you know, you can touch it. So I will show you how to do that. Okay, we'll start with things you need. Well, I don't really know um, the market in South Africa, so I can't recommend you uh, specific brands, but I will just show you what I use and I know that you will find it in uh, stores for nail stylists in South Africa or in any other country. So first of all, you will need acrylic powder. I don't know if you can see that, Max, tell me. Okay, um, you will need acrylic powder, this is very essential for that. You will also need a sculpting liquid, because these two things together will give you the final product which you can shape and do stuff with. Beside, you will need a nice... What is this? <laughs> a brush! Yes, a brush. <laughs> a nice brush they comes in quite a few sizes uh, this is my favorite uh, they are usually uh, made out of real fur because they need to absorb liquid very well so look for the ones uh, made out of real fur and they need to be a bit fluffy inside you will need as well a little you can use a shot glass really uh, something to put liquid in I will obviously use these things because they are for, na for nails, but you also can use just a normal sandpaper in a few gradations. Like, how do you say it? Sandpaper. A uh, few different levels of grit, I guess. few different levels of grit. <laughs> I will use also my nail drill with some drill bits with also sandpaper on it uh, but I guess not everybody has a nail drill uh, so yeah let's come back to the sandpaper <laughs> but I will show you that thing because it's fun and it's quick and we don't have that much time here and obviously you will need your illustration this one is prepared by Capri Will Wild. I don't know how to say it, you can see it here, uh, but thank you very much uh, for this cute con illustration I will be basing on. Uh, good thing to have is also a little brush to brush off some dust. Um, and that's basic things for sculpting you will need. Um, for painting it later, um, no, I will show you that later. <laughs> Okay, I forgot to say that you should be probably using protective gloves because this uh, liquid, especially liquid, might be a bit rough for your skin if you accidentally touch it, so just use gloves. Okay, how to sculpt? You need to put some liquid. Oh, by the way, it smells very bad, so I'm sorry for that. And you can't really smell it now, but if you buy this stuff, well, you might be disappointed if I won't tell you. Okay, I will show you first how to um, how to sculpt, how to how to even use acrylic powder. So first of all, you need to remove any air bubbles from your from your brush, just by doing this. Not much, really. I didn't have and your bubbles then you remove a bit of liquid because it can it need to be soaked but not too much and then 
we just make a little ball. This is little ball which when it's dry it's just a plastic thing really. So yeah. And don't let it dry inside of your brush because you will spoil the brush and you will need to buy a new one. I did it quite a few times. And this is very easy to destroy a brush for acrylic so you can buy more just in case. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Oh, and one more thing. So I will be using pink acrylic powder for purpose of this video because I think this will be the it's really slightly pink. It will be the best one to uh, to show you, but you can buy them in many many colors. So I will show you the way I make it just slightly pink and then I will paint it, but if you use different colors you 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 can skip painting because you will just sculpt in color. So my way of using my way of doing that is I get my illustration. It's covered by a plastic foil. Oh the light. Hmm. Okay, I will just make it here. Um, so, you have your illustration covered in plastic foil because you want to be able to take off the your sculpture <laughs> out of out of the illustration. And what I'm doing is basically making those balls, and I will maybe start of the shape of the head. Yeah, it's not easy at first, especially the first layer is quite difficult to make because it's quite slippery and yeah you need to you need to learn how to do that. Just your hand need to learn how to do that. And that's how I'm sculpting. I'll show you later why I printed few of those illustrations. So acrylic powder, well ac acrylic mixture, a uh, mixture of polymer and monomer, uh, is drying few minutes depending of course of uh, on the layer how, how uh, big is the layer, but it also depends on the liquid. My liquid is fast, but you can also buy liquid which is uh, medium or slow and it will just take more time uh, more time to, to get dry. So yeah, my first layer will be just generic shape of head of our, of our little butter. Oh. That's not enough liquid. So I will just remove it from my brush before it dries over. And I'll do that again. It's easier when you already have first layer because then it just sticks together. Oh, by the way, we are pre-recording it because I don't really know how long it will take for me to make it. And I... yeah, I wouldn't like to make it longer than it should be, but uh, last 10 or 15 minutes will be live stream, so you can ask me questions, I can answer them, and just, you know, join you online. But you can also ask questions over chat, because I'll be watching with you myself and uh, I can answer your questions in real time. Okay, so this is more or less done. Less than more to be honest, but 
you will work on it. Now it's drying, and that's why I printed some more of more of these illustrations because now I can work on another piece, like here for example, and this one can just dry as it wants to. So as you can see, uh, the shape of the head is supposed to like end here, but I made it a bit longer because I want to make this little bit of 3D effect. So I will start doing, uh, doing the hair like here and this piece of hair I will join it using acrylic. I will join it with the head later so it will have this 3D effect. So as you can see our hair is done. Maybe I could just add a bit of product right here. That will be good. Now we need to obviously wait for that to, to dry out. Also if this liquid is already very muddy, you would say, you need to change it because you will sp it will just spoil your, your work. Okay, so this is drying, the head is drying, hair is drying. Um, I think the next piece of this puzzle, which I'm gonna make separately, is ears. So maybe let's make ears on the same picture as as hair. Oh. That's too much liquid. And it's like going all around. And it's not very bad, it will just need more time to to make the shape and more time to to dry. And this ear will go under the head, so I'll make it slightly longer here to make a um, to make a point of connection. Okay, so we have the ears ready and drying. Next thing. I'm gonna do is I think his mouth like this part because I wanted to like you know outstand a bit from the from the head to, to make this 3d effect and by the way use it in a well ventilated room because um, I'm not doing that because the street is very loud and you wouldn't hear me well and I kind of can feel already this monomer in my head <laughs> okay mouth is ready drying now I will make this hand this hand but it will be separated in three parts from from the the deepest part which is a chest and and this part of arm so i will do it maybe here then i will make this part of arm and maybe i will do it right here and in the last one I will make his hand because hand will go over over the head okay so the chest is busy drying now as you can see I made it a bit bigger because here will be uh, right hand and uh, here we need to mount head as well and I will go to to the medium part of arm now I don't know how it's called how do you call it? In Polish it's przedramie. So yeah, I will make przedramie now. 
forearm, literally, przed ramię. Okay, so as you can see we have all three parts of the hand done, of the arm done. So I will use I will use some more liquid and I will make the last at least for now <laughs> the last um piece actually the last pieces which is forearm and hand of the right arm maybe here I had a little problem because I didn't know I don't know if I should do it in one piece or two pieces but I think I'll do it in two pieces because if something go wrong I can always just you know connect them I don't need to do it twice okay we have all the parts done we'll go now to sanding I will cover this because I don't want any sanding dust in here I also cover here because it's evaporating very very fast and if I can I don't want to breathe with it for a moment so as you can see this part it's already pretty much dry, but it's, it's not that easy to take it off. I think I need to use something metal. Oops. Yeah, I made a hole here. Uh oh. Okay, I think we have a major fuck up here. I used different foil than in the pre that the previous time, and I think this one just stick together very very well. Yep. But that's okay. I guess we can. I guess I can leave it with. <laughs> I'll just take scissors and I will cut it around. And I will try to remove the foil later by just sanding it. Heh, <laughs> that will be fun! Okay, so the head is like that. Yeah, just start sanding. make a nice head shape okay so the shape in here is more or less done now I will as you can see here it's very bumpy and rough and not very smooth so it will be we'll smooth it in this direction okay and this is actually a moment I'm gonna use my my nail drill okay. well and just make it a bit quicker for myself <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of dust going on. Okay, this shape is 
kind of done. Ta-da! Almost perfect. Yeah, I also removed the the plastic from here. Just don't be like Claude, you know. Just test it first. It's gonna go off. Not like me. I'm gonna use a different grid now, the bigger one, to, to make it more smooth. Here it doesn't need to because on the top because here we will stick hair and talking about hair we're gonna do it now so we're doing basically same thing well I would unstick it but I can't so I'll just cut it and I'll start smoothing this out so yeah, as you can see here I'm using my nail drill and of course when I'm shaping it to the final shape, I need to check it from time to time if it fits, like here. That's pretty great, pretty great. I also think that this is slightly too thin, so once I shape it to the final, final shape like this direction, I will add a bit more, I add one more layer just to make it a bit uh, a bit stronger because th this is plastic this is very strong when it's dry uh, but still it can break so uh, yeah I need to keep it in mind that if you make pieces too thin they might break if you if you hit them <laughs> or something okay so this part is nice and smooth. I will now just leave it here like that. Yee, it's starting to look like like the model basically, which is pretty cool. And I will make the ear, but to do that I will help myself because as you can see this shape is not that um, that's obvious, at least for me. I'll just use a pencil to show myself and to not make it too small, you know. To not go too far with my filing it. Hey, okay, so we have more or less. We have hair, we have head. Sorry, hair. Uh, we have ear. Now, obviously, I will make the second ear, and I will do it the same as I did previous one, helping myself with, with a pencil, and I think I will help myself with a pencil, with all of the small parts. Okay, so, the head is done, well, we have two ears and hair, so I will join them together. And only then move to the chest and oh, there's a bit more liquid um, to the chest and uh, arms. So basically, I'm doing the same thing. Just instead of sculpting a new part. I'll just use it as a glue because it will work. Okay, so as you can see, if I do it like that, there is a hole here. So I will now take more product and I will just stick it inside Mm. 
Now let the cry, but in the meantime. Okay. Is this correct? More or less. Now the fun part of the other year. I'm gonna help myself a bit with using tweezers. This is very small. Hey, this is starting to look really cool and very 3D. But I think I will stick it to the layer of hair. So yeah, as you can see, there is a hole, whoops, hole in there, which I'm gonna fill up. Yeah, for filling holes, I'm using a bit more liquid than usual, because then it just goes through. Oh yeah, if this happens, just use the stick or something to remove it. So now we wait for that to dry perfectly and I'm gonna move to the chest and I will do basically exactly same things step by step as I did with head. Okay, there's a pro tip. So with small things it's very difficult to fill them up like you know from the front to make them nice smooth and flat so you can just use you can just not take them off from the foil from, from the plastic and do it there and then only remove them yeah of course also with bigger pieces but this one is easier to 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 make it in hand okay so, I did the forearm and I did the chest. Now I think I will connect it with head because it will be then easier for me to, um, to like get it all together. Okay. That's good. I like it. Mm-hmm, and the hand will go right here, yes. Yeah, I hope you can see that already. Oh, I'm not very good with my left hand. As you can see, I didn't remove the, the plastic here because I thought it over and it actually helps to get it together so maybe yeah I will next time I will do this with light, like right now cutting the plastic as well okay perfect okay yeah so just look at this little hand it's really cool. We'll add it right now. So it can dry. Uh oh. I think I lost it. <laughs> no! No, I found it. There it is. <laughs> okay, once again. I think it will be easier to add our glue layer here. <laughs> and now take the hand. Oh, thank you. And put it here. Nice. So 
So yeah, as usually, there is a hole, and this hole needs to be filled up. Oh, perfect. That is perfect. Okay, last, no, no, not the last piece, almost the last piece. Which is the other hand, which will go here. The other arm. Here we have hand. And here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it yet, but we'll see how it looks like. The, the mouth. Okay. So now, this is a time to remove the dust. And just a side note, of course uh, I'm not gonna do that now, but in general you should wait 24 hours uh, before you paint it. Because uh, acrylic um, like works. Like this product still works for 24 hours, like you don't really see it, but if you paint it before, there is a slight chance that, for example, the paint will crack uh, or something like that. So, you know, just in case, just to be sure, you should just wait 24 hours for that. And about painting, so. I will use um, nail polish, hybrid gel nail polish, but you can use wherever, it, whatever you have in home. Like acrylic paint would be even better than what I'm gonna use now, um, mostly because, um, mostly because uh, this is acrylic. Thing and acrylic paint will uh, will stick to that very well and with acrylic paint you can make shades better and stuff like that but yeah I'm gonna just make it uh, quick and easy for me to use a gel polish you will need UV LED lamp as you can see here uh, as I know, it costs like between 200 to 500 runs, um, but as I say, it's not necessary. You can use some other paint. Okay, so before you start with painting, just you can use some alcohol, because especially if you didn't use any gloves, you might put some, you know, oily things from your fingers <laughs> on it. Okay, I will let it evaporate the remainings of, of rubbing alcohol. And in the meantime I will prepare myself my nail polish colors okay so this is how it uh, I don't think you can see that but this is my little thing to have because I don't have a, a color printer so yeah I will be basing on this so we have a darker gray lighter gray but you know what? I think I'll use a bit different colors. Yeah, this one is better. Yeah, so this will be my darker, and then this will be my lighter. This is too light. Then we have some white and black gel. This is different because it's like art gel because it's, uh, it has much more pigment and uh, it will be better to use especially for small elements and what do I need? I need also green for the eyes well, one eye really yep, green is here and yellow yellow, yellow 
Okay, I have beautiful banana color here. Yellow for for the eye. And just a bit of pink, yes, for the cheeks. That's about it. Um oh and obviously white for her. Or maybe I will use this very light grey for her and I will yeah, I will make white highlights. I think that will look cool. So I will start with just overall painting it. So we have a... Oh, and nose is also pink. That's cute. So we will have... I think I will use my pencil again. Let's start with the dark one. I'll take the lamp now and I will cure it for 30 seconds. Just if you will decide that you want to use a lamp. Um, you need to remember to not put any of these bottles with with nail polish um, in a way that the light from the lamp can go through the bottle because well you can say bye bye to your nail polish then <laughs> Here I have some nice little brushes, like this one, it's like nothing almost, will be very helpful later. Now I'm going to do some whew, outline, it's not going to be easy because those lines are very very small, I will do my best. I will cure it just for 10 seconds because I don't want this part to, you know, sit down and just make it bigger a bit. The lines, not that it's 
more. Cool. I'm working harder now. Yeah, he might look a bit derpy, <laughs> but you know what is the problem? The problem is I'm not an illustrator, so yeah, usually I do stuff slightly easier, like, you know, hearts with a lot of glitter or stuff like that, so yeah, but I mostly want to, you know, show you a technique, not to show off my skills or something like that, no, I just want you to maybe use it in the future yep, he's gonna look a bit derpy but that's okay we love them all, right? <laughs> Not bad, not that derpy at all. I was really scared about this part, the mouth part. Okay. I'm thinking what outline should I do because I don't want to do the outline when I have this 3D effect because, you know, it will just remove it. Now I will use a bit different tool, it's just a stick, uh, maybe, ah, okay, whatever, just a stick with a little ball to make a perfect, mm, almost perfect because I have some hair here, okay, cool, perfect round shape. So now the very last thing to do is to make it safe. So I'm gonna use just a gel polish top. And to be honest, if you paint it with something else, I'm not sure what to use. If there is any like fix or something like that, 
I just don't know, really. But if you paint in general, I think you know better. So if somebody has an idea what to use, like kind of how we call it, fixer, I think it will be great. Let's cure it for like 60 seconds or even more and of course when it's done you can for example do as I did with my little cute fox terrier I made earlier and you can make it a pin to your shirt or you can for example use a magnet or something like that just to put it on your fridge or sell it as a I don't know. Maybe you can stick it to the pen even. You know, that depends on your creativity. You can do anything you want with it. <laughs> okay. Is it good? Is it good? Ten seconds more. Okay guys, great reveal. Great reveal. Oop, something stick to that. So look, there's a little honey butter. Little cute. And as I said, we can make it a pin, we can make it a magnet, or whatever you want. And yeah. I'm gonna do live now with uh, me answering your questions if you have any. Please ask some. <laughs> See you in a moment. Hmm? Right now? Oh, well, I'm not on the stream. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello! Oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I decided to show you a parrot because there's not many questions yet. <laughs> so, so yeah, I can show you a parrot. That's pretty cool, all right? Uh, we do have some okay. questions. So um, how long did this badge take you? Um, well, it was recorded, so it took a bit longer, uh, mostly because I needed to put my phone on a lamp and the lamp was heating up the phone so <laughs> once every like half an hour i get a message from my phone saying hey i'm overheating you need to stop it <laughs> so yeah that was um nice. oh. <laughs> oh is the camera okay. not on wait a second <laughs> uh, it should be on we have it's a on right now. technical problem here oh no so you didn't see my parrot Oh. oh no, that's terrible. Oh no! <laughs> and the bird just decided to change a place. Oh, the, maybe later. The webcam should be on. Um, okay, fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep rolling. Fantastic. So once again, yes, I was answering the question uh, of how long it took, right? Yep. Yeah, so I think like overall it took between two to three hours. Um, but yeah, it was recorded. Uh, so it just depends on how uh, how complicated uh, is your illustration. Um, yeah, I think like five hours. That's the biggest uh, the biggest level I made. Um, but with you know smaller things, maybe not smaller, but uh, less detailed things, it can take like up to one hour even. So yeah. <laughs> okay, we got another question from Sudan. Mm -hmm. uh, given the price of nail polish, can you use normal acrylic paint and seal it with acrylic polish again? Yes, 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 definitely you can do that. Oh, that was a parrot. <laughs> definitely you can do that because acrylic paint will, uh, will stick well together uh, with the acrylic oh. woo, sculpture. 
<laughs> so yes, uh, you can use uh, you can definitely use acrylic paint. Um, okay, we have another question. Mm -hmm. Once the plastic dries, is there any? Oh, oh the bird's going a bit crazy. <laughs> is there any way to wet it and make it pliable again? Nope. If you screw up, you need to file it or make another piece. <laughs> cool. And um, we've got one more. Uh, is it possible to make a full 3D statuette this way? Mm, yes, it will just take a lot of time, a lot of layers, you know, to build it up um, to the full 3D. Uh, but yes, definitely you can, if you have time. <laughs> yeah, do we have any more questions? Except, where's the parrot? <laughs> uh, we do, from Sudan again. Can mm -hmm. you mix nail polish like uh, can you mix nail polish like paint to get new colors? Yes, 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 you can. I think I even did it on the video, but you didn't see it because it was fast forward. Um, but yes, you can do that. Um, some of the uh, gel polish won't uh, keep very well together, but if they are from the same, um, the same brand, they usually do. Okay, and another one. How yeah. much would you ask for magnets? I have no clue, like seriously, I have no clue because I'm doing it only for myself. Because, yeah, it takes quite a lot of time, so I don't really have that much <laughs> time to make it for other people. So I never thought, you know, how much they would pay for that. And it also depends of, um, of the price of the product. Because, as I said before, I have no clue about this market in South Africa. I just know it exists. And that's about it. <laughs> uh, another question. Can you use an uh, electronic dremel to add texture? Yes, yes. I think it's quite similar to, uh, to the nail, uh, nail drill. So you can definitely use it. I mean, yeah, it's up to you what will you use. You can even, uh, like, if it's not dry completely, um, you can use some... I don't know, sticks or metal elements to try to shape it. That's basically what, what they sometimes do on nails too. If you like look up uh, for some YouTube tutorials, like how to make acrylic uh, flowers on nails or something like that, this is what they do. They have a product, they put it on nail and before it dries up completely, they shape it with, uh, with a stick or with a brush, like little brush. Uh, so yeah, that that is uh, a good idea, very good idea. I just don't have a journal. <laughs> cool, we've got another one. Um, I see that some nail artists use plastic bristles as scaffolding for their acrylic stuff. Would this help for a project like this? I don't know what is plastic bristle. <laughs> little, what plastic, is this? <laughs> little plastic hairs to use structuring. To oh yes, up. yes, yes. When it's not dry completely, yes, you can use that. So yeah. <laughs> That's that, that's done. I will try to the parts here. Oh yeah. Yeah. This Come is on. like opium for them. And this is just sunflower see? And she loves it. Okay, sure. oh. hey. Come on. Oh yeah. This is a cute bird. Cool. <laughs> Um, I don't think we have any more questions, so... Um... Aww, no questions? Seriously? <laughs> oh, we don't oh. have a vision again. Oh, we lost the stream. Why did that happen? Okay, okay fantastic. Um, let me just ask a question okay. in the meantime. How did you discover this? Like. Was this out of sheer boredom, or did you actually find tutorials for this sort of thing? No, truth be told, I'm not sure. Maybe somebody else discovered it before, because I didn't look up for that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, during lockdown, I didn't have any clients because I couldn't. And I just, I wanted to do something with my time. And as I have a lot of acrylic products, but I don't use it. Um, because my clients prefer gel, and uh, I was like, okay, I need to use it somehow. So maybe I will just uh, sculpt something, especially because I really love uh, wearing pins, and um, 
I like the shapes of the pins they made in 40s or 50s, and you can't really get them now. Um, at least not for the reasonable price. <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe I will do it myself because I didn't, I couldn't find Fox Terrier pin on eBay. That's the main reason, really. <laughs> oh, okay. We've got some more questions. Mm -hmm. A lot about our bird. So, okay. <laughs> um, how old is our bird, and what is her name? Her name is Ricciarda. <laughs> it's because uh, it's supposed to be a boy. Um, but apparently she's not a boy, uh, but with this spe species, uh, which is a mayor parrot, um, you don't know until they mature or until uh, you make a DNA test. So yeah, we didn't do any of this and she's from recycling, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, that was just... Recycling? Like, re yes, she's adopted. recycled. Ad adopted. Okay, adopted. <laughs> you don't recycle pets, my God. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Oh, and when? yes, but uh, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, she recently started maturing and she started to give us uh, signals that she's definitely a girl. Um, and how old is she? That's difficult to say because in her papers it says that uh, she hatched. Hatched? Yeah, hatched. yeah, in 2018, but they didn't give a month even so. Yes, something in between two to three years, basically. And where did you get your ears? Um, I got it from a Polish, um, Polish DIY maker, but she recently closed her company, uh, which is quite sad because she made a lot of cool stuff. Um, but yeah, she, she closed down like two months ago. Um, so yeah, I can't, I can't give you any fan page or something like that. And you have another question again about commissions asking if you take commissions. Well, I can, but sending it, um, to South Africa, that will be very difficult. <laughs> like I've tried it. Trust me. I've sent a package to South Africa and it took six months to get in at least by the postal service. And in the other way, it will be just very, um, very expensive. But yeah, if somebody is very determined, we can, we can talk about details. <laughs> cool. And that seems to be all we have for now. But we still hey, have three minutes of our- Oh, we still got three minutes of stream yes. time. So we'll just film bird being bird. <laughs> Oh, 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 she's on the phone. <laughs> yeah, oh, so um, before on the chat, I think somebody was asking what exactly is this method? Oh, is that, there's something new. Uh, what exactly is this method? And I will show you maybe from the, if I find it. Give me a moment. Claude, will you be at the next South African Furry Convention? I don't know. I, maybe. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if Max will be, I will probably go with him because why not? <laughs> I'll make sure that she comes with me. This is a non-negotiable thing. Okay. So yeah, um, this is the powder. It's very loose. It's like uh, a powder for your face. If you do makeup, you will know what I'm talking about. And this is a polymer. Um, which before you uh, mix it with uh, liquid monomer, it's yeah, just a loose powder, but then uh, it makes some connections in, in between atoms <laughs> and it makes it very, very, very hard. <laughs> so that's cool. And one more thing, which we unfortunately skipped uh, while we were, um, while we were, uh, post producing it. Yeah, it was the nose because uh, the nose was too small to make it separately and, you know, find it and then glue it. So I just put, uh, I don't know if you're able to see it. Let's get a little bit yeah. of a close up. Yeah. yeah, but I just put a little blob in here and shaped it before it dry to make it a cute little nose. Also, we're on our very last moments now. Okay. I, just, I just want to say that Everyone says... I say hi to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not watching this. You are now a furry. You are 100% now a furry. And uh, 
By the way, if your son is a lioness, please make it what? happen. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.